Hi everybody, this is Kate Holloman. Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. I have been working on watercolor portraits and I've been creating these um, loosely tutorially inspiring painting videos for you. So I have done a few portraits already. You can check those out on my channel as well. And I both, uh, I have them both in uh, a step-by-step -step video and a shorter um, sped up form as a time lapse with just pretty music. So you can always, you know, go back and check it out, see which fits you better. And I will be painting another portrait today. So if you want to join, grab some watercolor paper, watercolor paints, water, a paper towel. This one's already going through something here. And round brushes, pencil, and I would say an eraser, but I don't know where my eraser is right now, so I'm gonna keep it very simple not to get my painting messy. So that's everything. We can get into it. Again, welcome, and I hope you enjoy this time. The point is, relax. Even if there's a challenge, relax. Enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna make some room over here. Um, usually I start my face right up here going down, but today I'm going to be doing a lot of flowers at the top. So the face will be lower and what is that? A cat hair. I'm sorry. I am going to do a little bit of line here and uh, hopefully it's not going to be too bad later. Um, okay. This is the middle because my person isn't going to be facing forward. She's going to have her face tilted this way. So that's why this line is here. Connect it down to a chin. Neck, shoulder. Collarbone. Very basic. No need to worry too much about down here. Most of this craziness is going to be right here in all these gorgeous big flowers. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm actually going to sketch like right here everywhere <laughs> are going to be flowers. And they're going to be here and here. I'm also going to draw the centers for some of them when where I know they're going to be centers. And I'm going to help myself. Small centers will be for red poppies. Large centers are going to be for sunflowers. Swirly centers are going to be for roses. And now I'm going to know what I'm doing. Of course, they're not realistically the right size, but that's okay. This painting can be just fun. <laughs> Excuse me. And like here, here. That's going to be a sunflower as well. One more down there. And this lady is going to have short hair. I'm gonna shape the face here a little bit. Okay, this is the eyebrow, the cheek. Connecting with the eyebrow. The 
other eyebrow right here. We're going to put the eyes. So super simple sketch here and I think this one's gonna be one of my faster ones especially since I will only put a lot of detail into the face but all of this is gonna be very loosely painted so this one should be faster and I'm actually really excited about it so um, for skin color this time we're gonna go with darker I did a lot of light tones but I'm gonna go for something darker today let's see I do have a little bit of brown. That's great. Still, I have still not bought any more paint. So, um, oh boy, I don't think this is going to work. I'll pause it and I'll come right back. I think I have another one. I did find another one and it's full and it's beautiful. So, there that goes. And here we go. Wonderful. I'm so glad. I should have checked before I started the video. I didn't. Okay. So, just brown. We're gonna make it very simple. So make it creamy. And start outlining the face. Gonna lift the nose a little bit here. Okay, corners of the mouth, under the lip, above the lip, eyelid, and the other eyelid, and under the eyebrow, just right there, and right there. And a little bit, oh, that's a lot, but that's okay. Um, on the bottom of the eye. I'm gonna add a little bit more color here. And round this out. Add a dark over here, and this is where some shadow is from the flower above. And there. Very basic, very simple. It looks crazy right now, but it'll be okay. Also, take some red. And then, um, I'm sorry, so that you can see what I'm doing. Put it in water. Don't wipe it or anything. And then dab and add right here and right here. Actually, that needs a little bit more. I'll repeat. Okay. Now that looks like a lot, but as we wash this out, it will change. So, same thing as I do on my other paintings. Um, clean your brush, wipe, dab. So it's not dripping water, but it's not completely dry either from the center of the head, forehead, start washing out and blending. And when you see that it's becoming too dry, repeat. Dip, wipe, dab, 
and blend. As you can see, the paintbrush is lifting a lot of the dark color out. But now it lets you to use it in other places and you can create a nice gradient anywhere you need. It can be more balanced. So this is what I like, but you have to you have to have a watercolor paper if you want to see this work. If you don't have watercolor paper, some of the lines will remain really hard and you're not going to be able to pull the paint around much. So make sure you definitely have some watercolor paper. Now, my favorite is Kansan, but it's expensive um, if I'm doing a lot of different paintings. Um, so I use a uh, local brand, Czech brand, Bobo. And the paper is a little bit thinner, but as you can see, it still does the job of a watercolor paper. So um, for most of my recent paintings, I have been using this. Now, if I'm working on a bigger project, I will use Kansan because that lets me um, layer a few more times. This one doesn't let me layer too many times. The paper will start to um, oh my goodness, what is this word? It starts to rub off. Sorry, I'm Czech and I just thought of the Czech word for that. Um, but anyway, um, because I'm not doing a lot of layers, cheaper paper works as well. We're going to blend here. a circle on the tip of the nose and then carefully pull up from here blend and same thing down here in a circle and pull up there we go that's better I want this to come down a little bit more so it's nice that the paint lets me pull it around and fix some of the lines if I want to. There we go, I like that better. I'm not going to do any other details in here, only add a little bit of brown base over here so there's not like these white spaces before I add the eyebrows later. I went over here, I didn't, over here, I don't know, I didn't pay attention to that, but this is okay. Okay, and um, 
we can go ahead towards towards this. I'm sort of just drawing with a brush. be darkest right here under. Oops. Oh no. Wipe it away. That was too much. I'm feeling a little shaky and I'm in a hurry. So don't do that. <laughs> if you're painting um, with me, make sure that you're not rushed. <laughs> Um, I do have a limit on how long I can paint today, so I'm trying to get through this as best as I can. There's going to be a shadow here because of the hair. I need more color over here for the shoulder. Same on this side. Okay, and same thing, um, but with a bigger brush, so that I'm not sketching with a little brush. I'll take a bigger brush, make it wet, wipe it, dab it, and blend. You don't want too much water so that it doesn't puddle and create too much of a cauliflower effect unless you want it. Like I can tell that this is spreading and in about a minute it's going to look very different. So I'm going to take some of this and just pull back against where that is happening. Now this is not enough, so I'm going to take some and add it. If you hear that little noise and you own a pet, you might guess. I have guinea pigs. A 
They like to get loud when I'm in the room. <laughs> and right now, they are in my art space. <laughs> so, before my videos, I have to give them an extra treat so that they are as quiet as they can. They can get very loud. That's better. I like that. Okay, and while this dries, we can go ahead and start on the flowers. Um, start with yellow. This also isn't too bad, so I don't need to go change my water. I do that very rarely, actually, anyway. Um, in case I went into black, and obviously, you know, you can't go from that into yellow and have a yellow color. Um, so, this one doesn't want to get very creamy right now, but that's okay. I'll just go with this and see where all of my sunflowers are. I'm going to start very basic. the circles. But here I'm gonna do that because they are facing away. And now I'm gonna add the petals just like this using the stamp of the brush and just Go around. And a little bit of orange and add that in the center. And there. And there. That's it. Super simple. And now the poppies and the roses and the poppies are obviously going to be red and then the poppies are going to be I'm sorry the poppies are going to be red and the roses are going to be pink mm, I have to start with those that are far away from my yellows so that that doesn't touch. Can't do much, but I think I can go here. If it touches a little bit, that's okay. I just don't want it to touch too much. here. And I think I have another red that might be nicer over here. I think that's right here. I'll add it in. I think it's a little bit richer. I 
I wait for all of these to dry, I'm going to do a pink rose. That's over here. It's super simple, just put some color down. Not too much to have to think about. And I think at the very end I'm going to make a blue background. Because right now, if I do that, then I can't paint anything and everything is going to get messy. So it's time for the face. And I'm going to go with green and gray eyes. So I'm going to pick up my green, make it as creamy as it lets me. Sort of draw the outline all the way around. Add a little extra on the top. Now I'm gonna wipe away the green on the bottom so that it's dry. Same thing on this side and take some gray. Oops. And add that in. And that just makes the green not be too strong. It's going to be a little bit more subtle. And I'll go back and Pull some of the color away across from the shine. There. Okay. I'm going to do red lips. Outline your lips, color in the top, flat. And then outline the bottom lip. Her mouth is slightly open, so we're going to leave that there. And then do one circle or oval and another one. Color in the rest. And then clean your brush, wipe it dry it and now just rub around the shine it's okay if you go right over it doesn't need to stay looking that way but what you see now is that it made a really nice um more more of a realistic looking lip okay we can do eyebrows I'm going to go with black. I'm just keeping my time up so that I know what time it is. It's very strong. With black, you want to make sure that you're not dripping black color all over your painting because once once you put it down it's very hard to take it away um, you can um, use a paper towel to kind of suck it up but it's still gonna stay you can't necessarily erase that so be careful now I'm gonna add the eyeliner and from the top Some eyelashes. And my green is dry, so I'm gonna add the iris as well. Oh, 
Oh, wow, I have to make them bigger. Now back to brown, keep it creamy, dab it without washing, and draw the nostril, the corners of the lips, and wipe it more, and pull very lightly the line between the lips. There we go. So that's the face. And things are looking pretty good. I'm gonna stick with the brown and do the centers of these. Oops. See, that's that's too too much. That's too much paint. I'm gonna use this brush and pull some of that away because that is heavy. Okay. Circles of these sunflowers. Circles, round centers. Centers, <laughs> it's probably better. Sometimes I'm thinking in shapes rather than in what I'm painting. Now I can go back and do more flowers, these poppies. I can actually color in the whole thing. And I'm going to switch between this red and this other red. Yeah, there's definitely a difference. And carefully around these yellow petals. There. Now the pink. Okay, pretty simple. I'm going to take a break because I do want all of this to dry before I go back in. So I'll pause my video. If you want to take a break, feel free to do the same. Grab some coffee 
and uh, I will come right back to this. All right, I'm back. Everything in my painting is dry, so I can continue. I did have my coffee during my break, and I hope that you can enjoy something nice for yourself as well. Okay. I will start shaping up the flowers just a little bit so they're not only entirely blobby. And I will do that with combining red and brown. And I will use this right here to mix this color. Wipe it down a little bit, then take the brown Okay, mix that together. And I want a little bit more. So what I will do is take some of my purple and mix that in. And that's good. Probably a little bit darker because this will fade a little bit. There we go. Some lines coming off the center. Something similar here. And here. Again, adding some lines. Doing the same thing on this side and here, lines off the center and now this sort of on the inside and lines a little bit down here. This will be enough for everything here and over here, more lines and here and I will blend this a little bit so that it doesn't have such sharp edges. This is pretty good. I don't think I need much there. A little bit here. And here. Nice. I like that much better. Now, I do want a little bit more going on with my sunflowers. They're too generic. Ooh, generic. So, with orange, a little bit of brown, I will mix that in a little bit. I will make lines going off the center out that are kind of uneven and sometimes thin, sometimes thicker.
on this one. It's very loose. I'm not really drawing the petals. I'm just, you know, applying color whatever way it kind of goes. Some around the edge. some of the tips there's some very thin lines that'll help not just a bunch of thick Finally, for the roses, I will go back to the original pink that I used. I try to make it more creamy and darker. And I'll sort of just unevenly go around. Sometimes apply more, sometimes less. Done. <laughs> Um, these are all, I think, dry enough. Carefully, still carefully, I will get my black to apply it for the center of these poppies. Add some dots. there and let's add black centers to these sunflowers as well and add some dots around the outer edge of the brown center There. 
Now, it leaves a lot of empty space around here. Really, the black hair is only here, and then there's going to be a blue background. And I don't want there to be, like, blue gaps over here, so we will fill it with green. So I'm going to make a mix of my light green and dark green. And with my dark, I'm going to go under. Under the flowers here. Here, and a little bit here. Good thing it doesn't have to be entirely even. And now with my light green, I'll um, finish filling out these spaces and let the two greens um, bleed into each other sort of loosely. I'm not going to do a lot of blending. better. And since this hair will be black, actually I can leave it white. Hmm. Hmm. No, I will do black today. Feel creative and feel free to do whatever you want. I mean, you might opt for black background on blue hair. That's like really up to you. You can do whatever you want with this. This is the nice thing. And oftentimes I just paint the black uh, flat or the color of the hair very flat I don't go in with more details so um, you know it can really be anything okay this needs to be a little bit darker there <coughs> excuse me I will mix my blue <coughs> in here and I think I need to get new color, I mean a new water. So I'll pause and come back. Okay, there we go. I have my water. Now, if you have acrylics, painting the background with acrylics or with uh, gouache might be nicer. But I'm going to stick with the paints that I have right here. And um, I'm just going to make it that blue, as I mentioned. Let's see. Okay. I will use this one because this area already had some blue in it. And so it's not going to get mixed with any other color. It's not going to make a you know, colorful mess. And I will add some of the, a lot of the white. It'll make it more opaque. Um, little bit of indigo. Okay. And carefully start applying to the whole outside. Sky. Oh, 
was thinking outside of these lines, but you get it. And I have a little fuzz on the brush. I don't like that. Got them all. All right. So carefully around your flowers. to the end of this <laughs> and now the other side and I need to put in a little bit more so this blue white oh no ah, going too fast oh no I think I put some green in there no Yep. Again. That's me. Hi. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. That's too dark. Well, that's definitely a different color. I don't know if I'm going to be successful mixing the same thing again. Feel free to skip. But I'll just go with this. I'm not going to care so much. It can be two different colors. You know, I could just make it black and white in the back. Anyway, so... You know. Mm -hmm. Everything happens for a reason. Like when something frustrating happens. Why is it happening? So that you can practice controlling your emotions. Or maybe your reactions. Emotions are normal. Self-control is important. Now, if you watch my videos, please let me know in the comments. So far, I haven't received too many um, reactions or comments on this new series. Um, it would be great to know what you all think. Also, if you are more interested in just pencil sketching, I have started um, what I will try to keep up with a daily TikTok live stream. So you can find me as Kate Holloman um, on TikTok as well. And I have done more like fashion figure drawing there. 
and if you're interested in learning more anatomy drawing then that's where that is going to be um, now during this time so I'm giving some of my mornings to this particular series with watercolors and then in the evenings I'm gonna try to be <clears throat> live streaming on TikTok maybe for like an hour or a little bit more um, giving some other tips on painting oh I'm sorry drawing drawing with pencil and so if you want to you can definitely check those out as well all right black for the hair and then it's done Okay, so there's the hair, and what I like to do is I like to add a few loose hairs here and there. Make it look a little bit more natural. There. <coughs> Alrighty, and that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something helpful in here or just a bit of inspiration. Um, and thank you so much for supporting my channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. So hope you all have a great day. As always, um, don't forget to sign your artwork. And tomorrow I'll be back with another video. Thank you all so much and have a great day. Bye.